It's important to think about the equilibrium condition for a, an economy. Okay? Economists love their equilibrium conditions where supply equal demand, where things just balance out. And we're going to use the closed economy version of aggregate demand, where we had C, consumption, plus investment, plus government spending on goods and services, is how we break up aggregate demand. And we're going to introduce this idea of aggregate supply. This is the value of goods and services actually produced. So this is the value of domestically produced goods and services. So in a, an equilibrium context, again, where we uh, want to begin the analysis, economists will focus on where demand equal to supply, and will argue that this is a way to describe the economy at any particular point in time, where what is what's produced meets what's demanded. And this is that economic equilibrium. Now, we can talk about aggregate demand equal to aggregate supply and still have, for example, a recession a recessionary situation where there are goods that, that the economy is producing that are not wanted. Now, how do we do that? If you recall, and if you don't recall, you should go back and look, that investment had a couple of components, okay, so that's purchases of long-lasting goods and services. And then we talked about there being a component of inventories. These are things that aren't immediately sold. And I mentioned there can be two different types. There's intended accumulation of inventories, where a firm wants to have stuff on hand. Uh, if consumers want something tomorrow, they need to have it ready to go. So companies will keep some stuff back in the warehouse, ready to, ready to bring out if necessary. Unintended consequences, or, or unintended inventories is stuff that you were planning on selling which has not left your shelves yet. Okay, when unintended inventories increase, it's a way of saying that there is a lack of demand for what you are making or what you have purchased with the intention uh, of selling. So these unintended inventories is going to be an important indicator of a situation where you might have a recession, where firms are building up unintended inventories that they have not yet sold. 
So when we talk about aggregate supply equal to aggregate demand, that could have in it a series of, of uh, unintended inventories which reflects a recessionary situation. But we're still going to have aggregate supply equal to aggregate demand. So we'll use that in a number of different uh, contexts to analyze the economic conditions of the country.